Hawk and I run for our full music pleasure to be here with you guys and thank you for giving me the opportunity to interview you guys. No problem, thanks for having us and thanks for the opportunity to do this interview with you. <laughs> so first question is, how are you affiliated with Alpha Elite? Um, we're affiliated, we're sponsors through, uh, we met Leaford uh, back in 2012. I'm um, built a really uh, good relationship with him. He's done a lot of work for us. He told us how amazing the track team was, and we, we, we sponsored him a few years, and we're going to continue to be sponsors to the program and support uh, everything you guys do. So how did you guys come across the market? Um, we came across it. Unfortunately, we had a son that was born with the uh, illness, and that's how we learned about it. That moment, uh, prior to that, we had no knowledge, knowledge whatsoever about the disease. Um, so it's one of those things like it caught us off guard. Then we started to do our research once the diagnosis came out, and you know, now we're trying to raise awareness so no one else is blindsided the way we were. So how, how has doing this event impacted your life? Um, it impacted us because the just being around. Um, a, lot, a group of people who's dealing with the same thing in life. We all we all come from different walks, but we have one thing in common, and that's Marfan syndrome. Whether um, we're personally affected by it in some way, whether it's a family member, an actual per, uh, adult, or whatever the case may be. So it's a big community together, um, and it definitely helps you get through it to have support, a support system. Um, I know that you um, played football for several teams. How was that experience? It was a great experience. I got to uh, live in different places. Um, I was down here in Florida, then I went to the Midwest. Um, so it, it was, it, it was, it was different. You notice the difference everywhere you go. But um, I enjoyed it my entire career, um, and it was it was a bunch of fun. And then, how do you hope? How do you guys hope to inspire people who also went with you guys? Um, well, the main thing for us is just like raising awareness and because it's such a rare disease, not a lot of people know about it. So that's like our main goal is to raise awareness so we can get more funding for like treatment. And actually we have, because of the amount of awareness we raised last year, we've actually, um, they're now funding a new treatment for neonatal Marfan syndrome, which has like never happened before. So like we're really excited about that. Thank you guys for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. South Florida Walk for Victory. So thank you all for being here. So now I want to call up my co-chairs, Kristen and Kendall Langford, so they can tell their story. Hello, everyone. I'm Kendall Langford. This is my wife, Kristen Langford. Um, we're at Team Camden. We lost our son in 2017. Um, it's seven weeks from neonatal morphine syndrome. Um, we've, you know, done several interviews about our story. Um, as far as more from, we didn't know anything about our fans and any knowledge, never heard of it. No one in our family has uh, the syndrome, so to us it was a complete shock. Um, my wife, she went through a healthy pregnancy. Um, everything was fine up until the moment he was born. Then, you know, the nurse was like, you know, dad, fingers look a little strange. He told us, you know, you know the off when it was a test. So. Long story short, he ended up getting diagnosed with it, <clears throat> completely turned our world upside down, but together we stuck through it, um, we're still dealing with it, we're getting through it day by day, and um, so our main goal and focus is just to bring awareness uh, that we didn't have, if we can you know, let someone else know about what to look for, or you know, just knowledge about the syndrome itself. So. Uh, that's my piece, that's why we're here. Uh, we have family from Virginia, we have friends, teammates. Yeah. Uh, and we're happy to 
also part of Team Camden, uh, his coaches and everything. So um, I just want to thank you guys for taking time out of your schedule to come out today and be with us at, at the walk and your donations and everything. Um, good to see everybody. And <laughs> uh, let my wife say a few words. I just want to say thank you um, to like every <laughs> Having a good support system is like very important. So I just want to like thank all of our friends and family that are here to like support us because like we definitely couldn't get through this without all the support that we had. Um, and I also want to say a special thank you to like to Maya here because when I found out my son was um, diagnosed with neonatal marfan, I didn't I'd never heard of it before. I didn't know what to do. So the first thing I did was like take to social media and like try to find people who were going through the same thing that I was going through. And Maya was one of the people who I reached out to and like she helped me so much. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of our friends and family that are here from out of town and all of our local friends and family. I can really appreciate it. Thank you. Today is Kendall's birthday. 21. 21. <laughs> okay, we also want to thank some of our sponsors that are here today. Mount Sinai Medical Center. <laughs> Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Tommy Gardens Children's Hospital. And Jean Diaz. And then we here sponsors are us, Channel 10, and you can just Woo! Today's not only just about walking, it's also about meeting people you don't know already. It's about community and getting together and, and learning about something you may not have known about. Every year I, I, I do this, I learn more and more about Markin than I didn't previously know. And when I did this the first year, I didn't even, like Kendall and Kristen, I didn't know anything about it. So every year I, learn, I meet someone who teaches me a little bit more about it and I hope that this walk today does the same for all of you. Only for the Markin Foundation, Kim Halston. I can't believe this is our third year in Florida. I feel like every year I get to know people more and more and no longer have to put uh, names to faces, it's now on uh, faces. Uh, I wanted to introduce a couple people. Most importantly, we have our PAB and our board has flown down this weekend, so please get to know them, introduce yourselves. We have our CEO, Michael Weimer. Who's Michael, back there in the green. Helene Baruch, our Chief Philanthropy Officer. Eileen Michelli, our Chief Program Officer. Um, my newest team member, I love her, Kara Burke, is back there from Houston. It's amazing. Um, I just want to say, you know, once the walk is over, it's very important to keep the conversations going and to stay involved.